Good day, good day, good day. Test, 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 one, two. Good day, good day, good day. Test, 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 one, two. Okay, it's not that bad. Hey there, guys. How's it going? I'm Niblet K. Welcome to another stream. And as usual, we're just going to... Not, not really as usual, but... This okay. This week's usual. We're gonna continue with our um, Thronebreaker playthrough. Let's just start this bad boy up. Uh, sound should be fairly decent. I'm guessing. Mm, also, we need to drop onto this little project over here. Okay, looks fine. Looks perfect. <laughs> Today's a shorter stream due to the fact that I actually have to buzz off to work faster or earlier. I guess that's how you say it. Earlier. I have to go to work earlier right. today. Come on. Get them shackled. And yeah, that's pretty much all, all there is to it. So shorter stream. I did start a little bit earlier <laughs> than mine. <coughs> Just a couple of minutes. Okay, let's see, where did we, uh, where did we end up being? Oh yeah, hoo hoo hoo, so we just went through the veil, through this uh, little veil, so let's go to that point of interest over there, okay. And then we'll go through and do everything else that we can still do. Is there anything here? There's a cooking pot. We could have some frozen stew or something. Maybe some cold brew. Let's see, what do we have here? Probably a fight because it looks like a cave. The rumors Gabor had overheard were true. Scouts returned with news of a cavern at whose mouth lay rotted logs. An indication that something of great weight may have been rolled inside. Chests full of gold, for instance. Then again, poor tracks clearly showed some beasts had made the cave their home. Right. Oh. Decision time. Enter or scramble back down, said Gascon, rubbing his hands together for warmth. Please hurry. This frost is downright biting. We've scaled this high. Let's enter. Foolish would be to descend I'm empty not the one go go. Fall in behind me. Go back the from a took fight. The four, sword no, no, in no, one no. hand, no, no, torch no, no, no. in the other. The flickering flames glow illuminated the cave's interior, casting Whatever it is, shadows. I'm pretty sure we can. Neve was such that some horror would leap at her at any moment. And she was not at all wrong. Little fight. Eliminate the crazed Shalemar. Okay. It's a shortened battle, so only one turn. Just a sec. <laughs> Wife calling with directions do this and that and that and that and such and such. Don't forget to do your chores, man. Okay, let's uh, let's see. So fire fireman looks decent enough. Maybe not this. Mm. 
do have our fireman. Okay, we have two firemans. Oh, monsters again. Right. Follow me! Together now! Uh, whenever an ally is destroyed, reduce this unit's timer by one. Then play a random unit from your deck and damage it by two. If this unit's timer ends, Meep wins the battle. Okay. This could hurt. Up doing that maybe a little bit too early, but okay, let's move some shit around. Or should I play this? To reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Ah! That thing still has a lot of armor. Here's my turn again. Things are gonna keep on coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. That that was bad. Thing about slings. Yeah, well. Why did that thing up here? Already in Viking Frost. It's 
kind of annoying. Still has a lot of counters. Why are those things still coming? Killing something and things are appearing. Why does what is going on? What is going on here? Why are these brawls? but with the trolls man watch your heads <laughs> Good. We can get that Rayla 
To reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Thing about slings, they hide well. Just trying to move as much shit as I can around. Whoa. <coughs> Whoa, shit. This is a weird battle. This board is now full. What, what will he do? Dude! Why do these things keep getting armored?
Abolist in your command. I'm a monster. Can use me spy man. It goes a little bit. Fucking trolls, man. I think I can win this one. Not like this. Load last checkpoint. We need to change some some things. So what do I have here? Boost an ally by four and give it one armor, then trigger all loyal abilities. And all other enemies with the same power by four. It does do theoretical more damage to all of those things because they might all end up having the same life Mahakan Ale. Return on turn and boost a random ally on each row by two. That could be good. Boost a unit by ten, create a bronze unit, transform a damaged unit into a bear. Play a random bronze unit from each deck. Destroy the highest ally and play two allies from your graveyard. Uh, restore all enemy units to their base power. Uh, heal all allies and boost them by two. Damage unit by one, use this ability eight times. Draw and play two blitz units from your deck. Force two units to duel. Uh, hey, Rancid Filth. The game is beautiful. I, I love it. The game is really cool. Right now, I'm actually stuck on a battle where I don't know how to get through, so I'm reviewing my deck a little bit. Damage all damaged enemies by 4, then damage all enemies by 2. Yeah, let's 
do that. Let's get the decoy out for now. Let's put in the other damage thing. Where was that? Here. I'm gonna try with some boost and damage. See how that goes. So we have Black Rayla and Gascon. Gascon has some synergies, but not that much. So we got some bombers, some slingers, um, strays of Spala. That could be good, actually. Wait, play a copy of this unit from your deck. Trigger this ability automatically when you're here, when your leader's ability is used. Oh, interesting. So if I have these things inside of my deck, they're just gonna come out. But I need to have one in play. Does it feel different from Gwent? Um. Well, Gwent has changed to be exactly like this game, so. In a way, yes, and in another way, no. On the other hand, I haven't played Gwent since the recent changes. Uh, I played like really minimal, bare minimal. And I haven't gotten into Gwent yet. I actually want to finish this game and then maybe I'll give Gwent another try as well. And uh, maybe, you know, go more in on Gwent as well. But it's definitely a nice game. It has a really good story, a really, really merciful, you know, ambiance and all that. I mean, the story and the decisions you have to make, they, they really cut deep, you know. Uh, okay. My fire. Move to it and boost it by three. Hell yeah. <laughs> Power of each unit on this road to the average of all units power then destroy self. This could be hmm. damage all units on this row by two. Whenever a unit appears on this row, damage it by two. Oh so let's craft this thing. I think Pitfall might be good. Hey, thank you so much for the for the follow. Apparently I don't have Thanks. Ah, there I it is. I got this strong because you were all there for me. Thank <laughs> Thanks for following that. I appreciate it a lot as usual. That means a lot to me. Okay, so we don't need... Let's see. Black Rayla is good. Gascon is... Hmm. Let's get Gascon out of there. Uh, this thing applies fire. This thing deals more damage to things that are in fire. Those things get boosted up. These guys are not that useful right now. Mm, marking a unit, I don't think so. We only have two of these. Let's see if I can make more. Because they're really good, but they don't have too much help. Also, field medic out of there. 
So if I have a lot of these, I can summon all of them, but they're not that chunky. This, on the other hand, this has really good uh, base stats. Did I try to do some of these? Let's do two of these. I'm actually to a point where I actually need to invest a little bit in card making and deck making, so that's kind of cool. Let's make two of these. Um, these are interesting. Move next to it and boost it by three. So I could craft one of these. See how that works out. I'm gonna look for those. Uh, should make another one of these. I'm gonna go all in on fire damage. <sighs> Destroy the unit to the right and boost self by its power. If it's an artifact, boost self by current power instead. Nah, I don't think I need that. Oh. This one's interesting. It lets me draw cards. Also, it's a card that uh, clears a roll effect. So those things come out on the turn I start. There were still some other things that start when I start, right? That allows me to, to uh, swap, right? There was something. I, I'm pretty sure I saw something like that. Ah, here it is. Around one start to appear on the battlefield. Did we put these things in? No, we didn't. This might actually be good. Move this unit to your deck and summon a random unit from your deck. Because these things appear on the battlefield on when I begin. Then I can cycle them for my other things that are basically better. So I can put these things in my, into my deck with no downfall. Let's, uh, let's give that a try. This is a tough matchup. He begins slowly, but that in the end he has so much power, so much, so much power, you know? The rumors Gabor had overheard were true. Scouts returned with at whose mouth lay rotted logs, an indication that something of great weight may have been rolled inside. Chests full of gold, for instance. Right. Decision time. Enter, or scramble back down. Said Gascon, rubbing his hands together for warmth. Please hurry. So how's your day This going? frost is downright biting. We've scaled this high. Foolish we'd be to descend empty-handed. Fall in behind me! The queen took the four, sword in one hand, torch in the other. I can't accept the flickering flames defeat. glow illuminated the cave's interior, We've casting long shadows. Me it's the only thing I do today. Would leap at her I'm at gonna win this moment. fight. And she was not at all wrong. Okay, 
Let's focus him. I'm gonna kill his entire deck if I can. Okay. That's a good one. Got a couple of things from each thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. I think this thing remains. Damage all units on this roll by two. Whenever a unit appears on this roll, damage it by two. That thing should remain there. Yes! That is awesome. For the queen! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that works perfectly. So now if I... Does that thing get destroyed? I'm curious. No, but it just gets moved. And then this thing comes here. God save the queen! <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. I can actually utilize this. Clear. Oh, that's... So if I play this, and that summons a random unit, so I don't really have like what I need. Uh. This thing cycles itself after three turns. I really want to use this card. Sod it. Sod it all. Maybe I shouldn't have used Black Rayla's effect right now. Um... I smell a leak. I'm gonna burn that. I live to serve you. Yeah, let's do this. I want things to come out. I want all of the things to come out. Oh god damn it. Okay, so that's only one use. I I'm learning. I'm learning the cards a little bit. So I'm starting to feel the synergies. The 
this thing can do a lot of damage right now. My favorite Kotala, the Shank. Stop it! Stupid troll. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Uh, where are some important things that I need to hit? Ah, uh, it's okay. I guess I can just hit this. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Bring everything out. There we go. Everything needs to come out. Too low to be close now. Come on. Oh, we did it! We did it! We beat his timer! We beat his fucking timer! Ooh. <laughs> as soon as the last beast had fallen, the Lyrians took to seeking out the treasure. Soldiers dispersed throughout the caverns in a rush, penetrating every last corner. Finally, one called out. Got it! Got the treasure! Right here! Treasure! Shiny stuff! A number of steel-reinforced chests lay up against the cavern wall. Me blew the dust from the lid of one and lifted it with some difficulty. She had hoped for gold and jewels, bars of Mahakam and steel at the least. Instead, she saw thousands of time-tarnished copper coins with a hole through their center. What? What does that mean? What's this bloody crap? Tokens of some sort? Uh, aye, that's right. Holy Goldens, we call them. They're, uh, currency in Mahakam. Get our wages in them. Use them to cop victuals and hooch. Is he pulling our finger right now? What of arms, armor, tools? Nah, oh, that's given to us. Clan provides it. Is that what you need? Weapons, oh, feel the agent now. Brought you here for no reason. Yet these tokens, they can be exchanged for other coin, can they not? To Merian Orans or Novigrad crowns? Aye, They're doable in theory, but not at all clever. Rates are crap. See, the elders keep them low to make life difficult for dwarven folk, discourage them from leaving Mahakam. Uh. What's this? Common dwarves use no gold. You cannot be serious. Yet I am. What, what good's gold to them? Clan gives them all they need. And victuals and hooch beyond need, they get for tokens. 
Yet you trade with humans. Gold coin you take for your goods. The coin must serve a purpose. What is it? We hoard it all. In vaults. Great piles. Down bottom lie ducats dating from the reign of that dozy ham shanker, King Dagrid. And you do not put it to use. Acquire anything for it. Then it's true what folks say, that you love gold too much to part with it. Hoard it for pleasure, as dragons do. <laughs> oh. Oh, dang. That's true. Point of fact. That there's pure drivel. Gold's a metal like any other. Just yellow. We hoard it for our safety. Your safety? Your safety. I fear again, I simply don't follow. Couldn't it be simpler? Soon as human folk get it in their heads, we's a thorn in their side, we'll spend it. All of it, in a jiffy. Excess coin supply, that's called. Matter of days, gold will be worth less than sawdust. And you're tossing banks and economies, bam, on their asses. There'll be nothing left of them. They'll cave in faster than a mine shaft with rotten props. Wow. Why are you all ogling me? With human folk for neighbours, we dwarves got to be damn vigilant as sheep round wolves. So they invented the bank system? So how can these tokens serve me? We must trade them. Even should we get a pittance, it will be something. The soldiers demand their pay. Ah, oh, your bums out the windy. Fighting men want full dixies and tankers a hooch. Coins but a means to that end. What do you suggest, then? A feast. As I've been saying, the tokens we use to purchase nourishment and mead, and what you've got in those chests, why, that'll do to fund a feast the likes of which Mahakam's not seen since Brewer was sworn in as Elder-in-Chief. Yes. The fighting men will eat and drink their fill, carouse about and forget their due and pay right quick, and, and invite the local dwarves to feast with you, and the clans will look kinder on you, too. Caution be damned. Feast! Your Grace, I feel obliged to remind you we are at war with Nilfgaard, and every copper... Should go to building our army, I know. But we live but once, Reynard. Sir Gabor, take the tokens and arrange me a feast so grand that Ebdahi himself shall hear us revel. As Meeve's force could not yes. possibly fit in a tavern, the feast was laid out in a storehouse. Crates arranged in rows served as tables and benches, oh, no, I'm hungry. while the windows were festooned with lion's foot and pass flour. Great barrels of mead, cognac and vodka were rolled in, mm. and when the soldiers saw this, they broke out in cheers and laughter that lasted till dawn. Pour us another round, you lovable Lydian bastards! <laughs> For he's a jolly good fair, uh, sorry, a jolly good dwarf. Oh! We upgraded Gabor. There was food and drink enough for the dwarves of the pass. The game is getting interesting. Men raised tankards in moment. hand and voices in By song the, the night through. To see them sharing tales and playing cards, one would not believe that anywhere down the mountains, through woods and across plains, humans and dwarves might, for the softest slight, leap at each other, murder in their eyes. Huh. Whoo! That was... That was something else. So what does the Gabor do? Where are you, Gabor? Hey, Gabor! Here you are. <sighs> damage unit by 15. If it was destroyed, deal <laughs> any remaining damage to another unit. Uh, dwarf. Deploy. Play two, trink two trinkets from your deck. Ooh. That's a drink, is right? Yeah. 
him. That has the. These are spells. Even this is a trinket, right? I'm not entirely sure. Seating. Let's see what else we can uh, uh, This might be interesting That'll take up a lot Recruit to cap to 200 Sappers are not bad, but these things. Hmm. I'm gonna have to wait on these. I feel like this is important. Still at the hundred and fifteen. However, they don't they don't consume as much food now, so I can put that in there. I don't think I need Four of those. Three is enough. Um, also, only two of these. I don't use them as as often, but it's good to have a little bit of oomph that goes upwards. <sighs> so I like the pitfall. I would actually put in another pitfall. Can I put two pitfalls? I'm gonna craft it. Hell yeah, we can put two pitfalls. We don't need more than that. So if I draw one at the beginning of the game, okay. If not, I think Gabor here. I think this should be something that he, he can give me, right? Well, that was definitely a fun, fun, fun battle. Okay, where are we now? Let's see. Let's take a look at our map. Okay, we can go around here and see what happens. Then we actually need to go there. That's our main quest. So let's uh, see what we have here. Ooh, that's interesting. But first, bulletin board. Oh, we got a puzzle over there. Nice. Oh. This building houses the Bank of Clan Zigrin. The banker claims that should we invest now in a few months time our its worth will increase threefold. It sounds too good to be true. Should we invest anything? 
I got a lot of gold. I'll do it. I'll do it. For the heck of it. Well, that's yet more settlers in the ground. Ah, they was good dwarves. Well, that's yet more. We would take root neath Mount Carbon where it's warmer, but allotments for the view. Well, 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 we would. I'd get up. I would, Your Majesty, but my arse is frozen to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Four Dwarves Codex states it clear. If you're in a mine and something knocks, you'd do best not to knock back, ever. Riding past a mine, Meave noticed a group of miners gathered around the entrance to a shaft. Frost had settled on their moustaches and beards, suggesting they had been there for some time. The Queen summoned Gabor and asked him to determine Gabor. the reason for this sitting. He returned after a few minutes and announced the most curious thing. They're waiting for the knocking to stop. Meave's frown prompted Gabor to explain in greater detail. According to our laws, dwarves can't go into a mine if there's knocking coming from inside. We're obliged to wait for the ruckus to quiet down. Ah, yes. Our own miners share this superstition, Raynard interjected. They say the knocking is that of a treasurer gnome, a kind of mine ghost. Interesting. With all due respect, your miners are dimwits, Gabor said, patting <laughs> Raynard on the shoulder. Knocking means an imminent and abrupt discharge of the potential pliable energy of rock formations. In other words, you can, a rock burst. Except usually it's all done in a day or two. Whereas these lads have been waiting going on two weeks. Foreman's grown impatient. He'd like to send someone down the shaft, have them see what's at issue, but... Well, the code forbids us from doing anything of the sort. If in this manner I can gain favour among your brethren... Sighed the Queen, dismounting. So be it. Yes. I shall descend and see what the problem is. The shaft was too narrow to fit an entire army. So Meave and a small unit of men entered the mine, miners' lamps in hand, and hearts in their mouths. The rhythmic knocking coming from the bowels of the mountains, distorted and multiplied, was unnerving. Soon the company arrived at the place that seemed the source of the knocking. Gabor put his ear to the rock and listened for several moments in silence, then struck the wall with all his might. The wall crumbled with a crash, opening a passage into another corridor, from which sprang numerous foes. Really? Okay, it's a standard short in battle. So I'm using my deck. Okay, let's see. So I only need one of those. That's an interesting one. Uh, let's get rid of that. Ooh, that's good. Let's also get rid of that. You motherfucker! What was that? I don't think that thing dies. Who goes there? I lost Koya. Drop your weapons. Nay, you drop yours.
got the same thing. Play Black Rayla. Enough chit chat. Draw your weapon. And he's actually gonna allow us to. Who just grabbed me? Oh, apologies, Maeve. I thought you were raining. This could hurt. Fire on that row. And this thing allows me to... Oh, I can't... Oh, wait. He has... He has job work. I'm done in a jiffy. Play two trinkets. works that is much on, much on. Starting to like this deck. On multiple levels. Ever have a storm knock out one of your team? Currently kicking his ass, so that's a thing. Oh well. Reynard, are we winning? I can't see a bloody thing. That was a sick move, bro. Have it the white of an eye from our bully to wear. Twenty four to four, not too shabby. Both sides were surprised. Both fought in the weak light of torches, nearly down on hands and knees. In the end, the queen emerged victorious, and as soon as she had returned her sword to its sheath, she asked the new prisoners a question that was on everyone's mind. Who the devils are you? The captives looked at each other in disbelief, as if before them stood a ghost. Finally, one of them managed to choke out a response. Your Highness, we're... We're your subjects. Meave recognized the accent at once. The men came from Rivia. 
What were they doing so far from home? According to the prisoner's account, after the Nilfgaardian's invasion of their kingdom, terrible poverty gripped the land. Seeking bread, some desperate inhabitants had gone to the mountains of Mahakam, engaging in wildcat mining in search of precious ores. Without asking the dwarves what they thought of this. You know yourself, my queen. Explained one captured Riv. They guard their treasure real jealous-like, don't care a whit about the suffering of others. They see us starving down in valley and don't lift a stubby finger. Yeah. It's their way of being. Sadly, the Rivians had dug close to existing corridors. When Gabor destroyed the wall that stood between them and the dwarves, they were convinced they were being attacked by monsters, so they raised arms in self-defense. Meave! It is a tough nut to again, said Gabor. But let's not kid ourselves. These men are thieves, and we must hand them over to the Mahakaman Guard. So they may do what? Sentence them to hard labor, or hang them at once, said Reynard, his usual calm shaken and his voice raised. These are your subjects, Queen. They coveted their neighbor's goods, true, but only because they had knelt themselves. That doesn't... If dwarves left the mountains to rob the fields of Rivia, said the queen after some consideration, I'd want to judge them according to our laws. Like it or not, Bruverhoog has the same right. But, milady, you're us queen. You swore to protect us. From harm, yes, but not from due punishment. With a heavy heart, Meave handed the rivs over to the Mahakaman guard. What happened to them, I cannot say for certain. But they were not seen again. Oh, why are my subjects so bad at this? Well, boys, a wee swig and we get back to work. Well, boys, well, boy. Surely you got to understand that's the right thing to do. Ah. Oh. You can't trust no one to have good judgment. Oh. The sound of approaching hoofbeats made me turn to see Reynard spurring on his panting horse, galloping at a breakneck speed towards her. What is the meaning of this? Ill tidings I bring, Your Grace. What? Clearly. Glad tidings never arrive with such urgency. Our scouts captured a Nilfgaardian messenger. He was traveling in disguise and by night. When he realized his capture was imminent, he strove to destroy the letters he carried. We were able to salvage some in parts. Anything of interest? I think so. Yes, there is, I fear. Your Majesty, you must listen. Consider your offer accepted. Direct Meave and her force to the agreed site. We await their arrival. Your reward shall be as agreed. Hail Keritza. A traitor. We might have expected as much. Nilfgaard has shown amply that it abides only by the rules it sets. Since they have not proved able to defeat me in the field, in open battle, they seek other means. I suppose the scroll bears no name. It does not, Your Grace. What? The messenger. Have you questioned him? Naturally, Your Grace. Alas, he knows not to whom the letter is directed. He was to leave it in an agreed spot. I take it tidings of the whole affair have spread throughout the force? Yes, Your Majesty. The witnesses were too many to keep this fact a secret. We must thus assume the traitor in our ranks knows it as well, and will make no attempt to retrieve the scroll. A dead end. Have we any other leads or clues? None I fear, Your Majesty. We must be alert. Keep a keen eye on events as they unfold, and exercise great caution in forging new acquaintances. Very well. Eyes wide open, hmm. all senses attuned. Yours in particular, Reynard. Of course, my liege. Uh, 
Don't tell me it's Gabor. I mean, they kind of do everything for gold. The dwarves. You know? At least we have a shrine over here. So my people are neutral yet once more. Oh, what's this? Hell yeah! I don't have Ike. Ooh, tainted game. We got a new card. Anything over here? Oh, yeah. Oh. A little bit of gold? No, no. I value the morale more sometimes. Ah, oh, this is a godsend. So we're gonna do this puzzle. Do not let me die. Okay. Sounds uh, like a good, uh, good strategy. Holy shit, what's going on? Boulders again. Whoa. Ooh, let's read. Every turn on turn start, throw a troll snowball at the row with most humans. If it lands on a row, Damage all units on it by two and force the three highest units to swap rows on their stack. I ah, should have listened to me, old lady. This artist will be reaping black clad heads. My spirit's willing and how the damn boots are killing me. It's weird. If I do this, that is a time to reap, doing. a time to sow. Think about slings, they hide well. Oh, shit. me myself I okay this is definitely interesting ah should have listened to me old lady what happens if I do this this artist will be reaping black clad heads
Bigger they are, easier they are to target. So shit. In the same picker. I this one's tough. Time to sow and a time to die. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. This artist will be reaping black clad hands. Think about slings, they are well. I don't know. I don't know. This looks weird. Yes. Woo! That was by mistake. But nice. Okay, we're gonna go to the quest story, see what it's all about, do probably the battle that there is, and then we're gonna call it quits for today. Let's see. That's a lot of monsters. Neve's force neared Davor's abyss. Signs of beastly feasting were not hard to find. Countless paw and claw tracks were impressed in the blood-stained snow. Among the boulders, bones picked clean were strewn about. Gascon lifted one from the ground. Empty inside, he said. Something sucked out the marrow. Neve's soldiers feigned indifference to the grisly sight. They marched on, their stepped rhythm unwavering, a song on their lips. Yet hearing a slight tremolo in their voices, Neve knew they merely sought to drown out their fear. A moment later, a commander's horn sounded, the signal to halt. The queen galloped to the fore of the column and found herself at the edge of a vast, round hole in the ground. She could not see the bottom. Neve drew her reins tight to prevent her mount from taking even one step forward. What is this? A crater? A desiccated lake? A mine of the strip variety, Gabor explained. Mm -hmm. Treasures we picked and shoveled for here. Diamonds. Till we happened on the beasts, that is. What now? Orion's a dam. 
holds back a lake. If we can break it, water will rush in, fill the abyss and the tunnels from which the beasts emerge. Just need to get around the mine first. We downs on the other side. Meave squinted and gazed into the distance. Indeed, there was the dam. And at its foot, a swarm of beasts roiled about. Her soldiers gazed at their queen expectantly, their arms at the ready. She knew well they would rush into battle, in spite of their fear. Gabor! Meave cried out over the whirling wind. Have you barred here in Mahakam? Of course, Your Grace! Then we shall give them good reason to compose this day. On the themes of courage, of heroism, of Lyria! Geoff! And with that cry, the queen spurred her mount, grabbed a banner, and raising it high over her head, rushed headlong at the horrid swarm. Yes! Gain seven charges on your old catapult without it being destroyed, and keep your catapult well maintained on all sides. Okay. This looks interesting. Let's see, let's see what we got. Okay. That's an interesting one. things first. Let's place this down. I'll relieve you of that pouch. Uh, this could hurt. Oh, come on. Watch your heads! <laughs> Right. 
place. Monsters approach from all sides. That thing died. Oh, Neckers, I don't care. Hey. Got a death wish? Allowed to kill my capital man. I think I can... I don't think I can get to the whole seven things. I might win on points, I'm not entirely sure. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Shit, son. Okay, fire is not bad. That's an interesting one. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. So get rid of those. We don't need that many fire starters. Pitfall. Yeah, pitfall is good. Um, sure. Here's the way down. We need to break through and destroy the dam. Place this thing without hesitation. Is this? Bigger they are, easier they are to target. This? Thing about slings, they hide well. This 
another one over here. For the last! Monsters approach from all sides. Chill. I'm doing fine. Luckily, it didn't destroy my catapult. So that's a thing could have done. This house is reaping, reaping black clad heads. <coughs> Excuse me. Should win on this turn. Excellent work. Yes, yes. And indeed, Bard sang of this battle soon after. For no claws or fangs could break through the wall of shields the Lyrians raised that day. And no scales could protect the beasts from the Lyrian stinging arrows and blades. Fight! Do not relent! Let us show these beasts! It is they who should fear us! The queen shouted. In the end, the beasts turned to flee, yet Meave's force cut off any chance of escape. A solid wall of men began to push the monsters ever closer to the edge of Davos Abyss. Pressed from all sides, the horrors began slipping over the precipice, screeching terribly as they fell. Ooh. Silence came at last. The queen stood at the edge of the precipice, breathing heavily, leaning on her sword. 
From the depths of the mine came muted growls and groans. Let's flood the damn hole, hissed Gabor, before any other shite crawls out of it. A rush of icy water suddenly rose, then just as abruptly plunged into the mine, flooding the pit. And where once lay Davor's abyss, now lay Davor's pond. Neve descended back into the pass, exhausted and covered in beastly blood, yet also exceedingly pleased. She was one step closer to Dwarven support in the war against Nilfgaard. I don't think we're gonna get the support, but... Once the Lyrians had put some distance between themselves and the now destroyed monster lair, Neve ordered her men to pitch camp. Then she sent the quartermaster off for food and drink. The soldiers lit campfires, then set aside their weapons. Soon after, lively music and song could be heard throughout the camp. Your Majesty, Reynard said from behind Meave's back. A messenger from the Elder-in-Chief. The Queen turned to see a dwarf in a richly oh. adorned jerkin and a shako with golden seals. She stifled her laugh into a smile and lifted her chin proudly expecting praise and a pledge of aid in the war against Nilfgaard. My lady, your daring deeds have come to the Elder's attention, said the Dwarf in a measured voice. He's positively irate and demands an explanation. Irate? But why? I and my men, we've aided you greatly. Elder Hoog awaits at the Long Bridge. Yet be ways not to keep him there any length of time. And with that, all the Queen's enthusiasm for a celebration was instantly gone. She waited until the fires expired and the songs died down, then gave the order to march. I'm sorry, what? But why? Why is he pissed off with us? I have a strong feeling that Gabor, as much as I like him now, especially now that he's in my deck, is not really playing his cards right. Oh, come on. Seriously? There's nothing here? I came all this way for nothing? Nothing, just admiring the lake. Hmm. Please tell me. Oh, go the chest. So Right now we're over here and we need to go at the top of the mountain. Yep. Yep. Pretty sure there has to be like a signpost over here. Oh, we found a key. The mine must be evacuated. Carry as much as possible. What here? Blah blah blah. Nothing. Climb a bit more. Yes, got him. How come I don't have like a fast travel thing around here? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. This loop? Yes, it is. Oh, no, 
Nice. Frozen. Oh. Only the banner moves. Blown by the wind. Downright poetic. Prime material for a ballad. Perhaps even a whole saga. Oh, God. That's cool. Well, the game saved. So that means this is where we leave you guys hanging on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely had a blast playing those matches. Those puzzles, those were hard. Not that hard, but you know, you know. I'm just kidding. No, they were actually really fun. They they actually made me a little bit think about deck building so it's nice to see that the game really evolves and makes you do other things other than the same thing that you're doing throughout the game in the first act you had a couple of things you were messing around with certain things second act new things were implemented and now third act slowly but surely you know you got more things you, you evolved your camp or you know your library so to say of cards that you have to your disposal but no nothing really forced anything upon you and now you've gotten to a point where you actually need to start fiddling around and trying out new things and seeing what works and what doesn't work and I, I think this is really cool and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen with Bruverhog or whatever the Dwarven King's name is because it seems that we're being set up like this entire story it, it's always ups and downs and ups and downs and nothing is the way it seems up until to the point where you actually see what actually happens and I'm drooling of excitement because I think it's so cool like all of the end you know acts that end they, they all seem really good and, and the way this is turning out I'm for seeing another act maybe even two more acts after this I have no idea how long the game will be but it's definitely cool and I'm gonna keep on doing this you know for a couple of hours here and there see how it goes uh, trying to squeeze in as much playtime as I can hope you guys enjoyed it also say hello to my shiny face thank you guys for watching I'm Nibbled K and I'll see you guys next time